and welcome back to Tractor to Trail. Today we're going to be giving you a walk around of our chickens coop, what variety of chickens we got, what we feed them, and we're going to clean it out in front of you guys. So we'll see you there. First I want to show you guys this swing that we made. Well, it's more like a roosting bar. We originally had just this swing here, but they weren't using it because when they flew up, it wasn't going to be big enough for their wings to fit. So we transformed it into this nice long roosting bar and they love to sit on it. And we also have this A-frame, like little house or chill space under there for them. They can chill out under there and they like to stand on these too. We have it on both sides. This swing mimics a branch in the tree because it has a slight movement as you can see when I move it a little bit or when there's some gusts of wind. What we're going to show you guys now is called the chicken race. We basically shake trees all the way around the fence line and then we race them down to the trees so then they stay in there. Why do you do that? I, we do that because we don't want them to get in the blueberry rows. Okay everybody, so this is the outside of our chicken coop. Um, it's been painted and all of that stuff. This used to be an old cow pen that was very dilapidated and we basically tore it down and used the bones and we created this as our chicken coop. We have some chicken wire right here on the outside. And then as you come over here, there's an egg box. This is where we get the eggs. You just unlatch these or this one and one right there and then you pull it open and you can get to the nesting boxes. So this is, yes. And then down here, when we clean out the coop, all we need to really do is take out all the fluff, just rake it right into the tractor bucket. And that's what this big door here is for. Okay, so as you can see, the whole perimeter of their little fenced in area here is covered, is fenced in with a fence. We have this fence here so then the chickens don't tear up the Blu-ray rows because originally we only had the coop and we let them out and just go up to the house during the day but then we realized they just love to tear up all the blueberry rows and we just planted new ones so we needed to put in the fence so right now we're in the chickens run area and we have a little step for them to get in and out easily since this is a pretty big jump but right over here we have that barrel out there which connects from the gutter and all the rainwater that we get from the gutter drains into that barrel and the pipe leads right to here where they can peck at these and get water coming out and it's really saved us a lot because we don't have to do this water as much, which is really dirty right now. We need to clean it. But we used to have to do this one to two times a week, or one, every one to two days. But now we can only do it once a week. Then over here we have oyster shells, which help them with their calcium to make the eggs stronger. And then grit, which helps them digest. And then we have their food. This is layer pellets, organic, mixed in. We have some DE, it just helps keep the bugs away from them or any like bugs that might live on them. Okay everybody, so we're in this corner. This is where they sleep at night. So we have this little section and back here we basically just keep all the stuff that we clean out their coop with. We have a shovel in there. This bucket holds the poop. And then this we can use to scrape with the shovel to hold the poop. It's a half like vinegar jug. And then we have these brooms just to help us sweep all the little pine fluff that might get stuck in the coop when we're cleaning it out. Then right here, this is to close off this door when it gets really cold at night. And then right here we have their roosting bar. This one's more sturdy and then this one's a swing that they can jump up on and it's more fun for them. Then right here we have their trash can. It actually stores the treats. Uh, which we get more of their treats and then their food and our DE that we put in the food. 
Okay, so now we're inside their coop. This is where they sleep at night. Right here we have their roosting bars and their poop tray, which we're going to show you how we clean out in a bit. The poop tray is made out of a dog crate, like floor, if you could call it, and we just cut it to fit our knees right here. And it's covered in chicken wire so they don't sit on it. Then we have their step right here that they can step up onto this ledge against the nesting boxes or the roosting bar. And right here we have their nesting boxes, which one's in there right now. And we put some fake eggs in so then they know where to lay and we've marked them with a Sharpie. And then we have these windows to let ventilation flow through. Um, and we close them if it gets really cold. We have this one, this one, and these two back there. And we have this door window that we can easily close if it gets too cold by flipping this up. So as you can see here, all we do is we just push all the floor fluff out into the tractor bucket. We sprinkle the DE in the cracks and corners and rub it in to kill the mites. Okay, we're now back in the coop and it's all cleaned out and we have an eight pound bag of pine shavings that we use to cover the floor and the poop tray. And as you can see, we've already filled up the nesting boxes with some fine pine shavings and we already have somebody making herself comfortable on the clean box. Okay, everybody, so now as you can see, we cleaned up this water and we cleaned the coop and it's all nice and fresh. And now you can see the end result of everything and how nice it looks. And now, the stars of the show. Okay, everybody, we wanted to show you the varieties of chickens that we've got. This first one is a barred rock, and we have four of them. This one is a black ostrilorp, and we only have one of them. When the sun hits her right, her feathers turn a bluish green tint and is very pretty to see. This next one is a Rhode Island red, and we only have one of them. We used to have two, but we had to get rid of one. This one is a buff Warpington, and these are the yellow ones, and we have three of them. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, subscribe, and share, and leave a comment below if you have any questions. And here's K and D Productions to tell you. We'll see y'all next time. We'll be on the tractor and on the trail.